Welcome to Violin Adventures number 111. We start right in with working on our new violin. And it is really windy outside. So if I look a little wind blown, I was just outside and the wind is just going out there. Hopefully it'll bring us a nice good rain. <laughs> Okay, this is day two of this week getting this carved out. Uh, we just have a little bit to go to get this finished. It's got some really nice tone and I'm gonna just mark out real quick to make sure I don't go too far. Where's my pencil? And see where we're at. More carving. Okay, we've got the dimensions down and I've checked the tone. That's the main thing. So we want the vibrations to carry and yes, they're carrying now. So the next thing to do is to scrape this so it's nice and smooth and we can move on to probably the scroll next. You can hear how this violin has gotten so loud once the, the graduations get down closer to where they belong. I've been scraping and I want you to hear it. I hope you can hear it. It's just got so much vibrating going on and so much life. So that's what's good. Now, I think I'm going to stop scraping and we'll go to working a little bit on the scroll because right now the scroll is just a little bit ugly. Well, here's our scroll work. Starting to get a little more shape in the scroll and I'm shoving that aside because we have here a little broken corner and we're going to get that fixed and also a crack in the top. So. I'm going to be gluing that in just a second here. And now I'm going to work on this corner. And maybe I'll show you the before and after. Here's our corner. We're going to get that down so it'll look like this. Okay, so here's the update. We've got it down and I want it to match the same design as over on this side. So when I do this, I have to make sure I don't put my own flare in it. I got to try to match the previous maker's design. So there it is. Now we've got to blend it. Just look what a little bit of polish will do to an old weather-worn violin. I think this one had gotten extra hot and the varnish started to crack a bit, but just polishing it makes it look really nice. A rehair of a very nice old bow. Okay, it's time for a rehair of a very nice stick here. So let's get started. We're going to start first with the frog. 
Okay, so I'm rehearing a bow and normally I will work over at my bow station, but this special vice was calling me. I've got to try it. So this vice is so rock solid that it gives you a lot of confidence. Okay, it's time to go through the hair and look for any bad hair. Now right now this is late in the afternoon. In fact, the sun is beginning to set. So, we'll see if we can find all these hairs. Okay, I've got the bow frog is over here. So I'm enjoying working on this frog in this new vise and now I have a dilemma because you can see my bow station is back there and I'm going back and forth, back and forth. So we have to figure this out. I either have to move the vise or I have to move my bow station or maybe get another vise. Who knows, but really enjoying this thing. So this back is now finished and it's got a really good clear tone. So everything is ringing and vibrating. So this is good to go. Now we just need to get the scroll caught up. Well, here's our progress so far, and I just love the look of wood chips. So this is one of the last few pictures we're gonna get before I clean this all up. <laughs> Here's our little beehive. It's got its coat on for the winter. And up at top we also have lamb's wool in there to keep the bees insulated. Okay, we're early afternoon, Friday, and it's a nice, warm, blustery day. It's probably in the low 70s with a nice breeze. So let's take a look inside. Here we are in the shop. Let's see where our projects are. Here's our back, finally finished, with the other parts waiting to be assembled. Here's our scroll, still in the rough stages, but there's some progress. Here's a violin repair just finished. And here's another beautiful old bow that just got rehaired. Testing that old bow with a newer bow, which one is better? So I just rehaired a bow and I'm gonna play it for a customer. Okay, that was the re 
three haired bow. Now I'm going to the uh, original bow. And here's a shout out to one of our subscribers, Timothy Winters. His wife received a violin from her family's side and it needed a lot of work. So he repaired it, he reset the neck, he did bushing on the pegs, um, repaired lots of cracks, and now it's all finished. He also put in a new fingerboard it's all finished now and it has a beautiful tone and best of all his wife is overjoyed to have her beautiful violin back the hebrew minute ach yeru et hashem va'avadatem oto ba'emet bakol levavakem Ki ra'u et asher higdol imakem. Only fear or reverence the Lord and serve, and you serve Him in truth or faithfully with all of your heart because consider what great things he has done for you. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you for sending in the verses you like read in Hebrew. Uh, Freddy's Adventures. about so I wrote a book unveiling it so that everybody will understand oh wow yay yeah. yeah so can you read yet I um revelation I, I need you to read it to me yeah I, I will be glad to read it to you my mom says you have a uh, YouTube channel. Yes, yes. Yeah, behold he cometh. Uh, Mel from that cumber. You can get my channel. I, I can watch 
too. Yeah, yeah, and I could, you could learn about Revelation by watching the channel. Yeah, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Well, goodbye. Okay, bye-bye, Freddie. Well, thank you so much for subscribing. All you new subscribers, thank you for the old ones coming back. And thank you for your comments and your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.